What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we have two private label small batch orders from Apex. Stay tuned. So here we go. The first one we're going to look at, this is a 7 8 payload. This is 7 halfs over 10s in a 410. This is also a 3 inch shell. Very excited to see how this shoots. The other one we're going to be looking at, as you can see on there, it's made for Blue Collar Outdoors. This is a 7 8 payload again, New York Legal 8 shot, 3 inch as well. This, I want to pattern this on paper out of my Mossberg with the Pattern Master Code Black Turkey. It's a 383. I want to see how this shoots. If it shoots better than the Ninjas, this is what I'm taking to Kentucky, as we can shoot this in Kentucky and in PA. So, as always, guys, check your local state and game laws when it comes to TSS because some states are well behind the curve, like New York. We can't shoot nines, that's why we have eights here. So make sure you can shoot what you're buying before you spend the money on TSS. It's expensive and if you can't hunt with it, it's a waste of money. Also, another thing Apex is doing is this Cedar ammo box. If you buy three or more boxes of shells, you get one of these with your order. As you can see, you got Apex's logo. You got some long beards on there. Then you got, you open her up, you got Apex up top, and then you get a little letter saying thank you for trusting Apex for your hunt, and confetti. I haven't took the confetti out, but this will hold five boxes of ammo, so that's pretty cool. You'll get this if you order three or more boxes in your order. You'll get one of these, so these are pretty sweet. As I already said, this test, I'm going to be testing the Mossberg SA410. I finally got the Pattern Master in here. This is a 383. It's the Code Black Turkey. This is the first time shooting this choke in this gun. This is what I'm going to be taking to Kentucky. So that 7.5 over 10s has got me intrigued. Hell, I may just shoot the 8s if it shoots good. But we'll shoot the 8s first at 40 yards on the left target. Then we'll shoot the 7.5 over 10s on the right. We'll see how it patterns. Let's get to it. All right, so here we go first. We got the private label, small batch, eights in the 410. Once again, Mossberg, SA410, Pattern Master Code Black Turkey. It's a 383 constriction. We're at 40 yards. Let's see how this shoots. I'm pumped. Just tell me when you're good. It looks low and now we got the seven and a half over tens. Once again, guys, as we saw here, we are not sighted in for this ammo. So when you get a reflex, zero with the choke and the ammo, you're taking a field because you will have difference from a different constriction, different shot size, all that. So zero with what you're going to hunt with, so you have a true zero. Seven and a half over tens, Mossberg SA410, Code Black Turkey 383, 40 yards. Let's see how this bad boy runs. Still low. Yeah, that's still low. All right, so we shot both. Once again, not zeroed in. We will be, but we're going to be testing these loads quite a bit over the next couple videos. So we'll get her spot on so we can center these up. But we're going to go down, do some sharpies, see how they look, and go from there. All right, guys, so before we look at the patterns, once again, Mossberg SA410, the two loads, both from Apex, the private label, small batch. We had the eights for New York legal, which I wish we could shoot nines. And we had the seven and a half over tens that they're working on as well. Both through the Mossberg SA410, Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 383. This is the first time putting that choke in the gun, so let's see how it did. So as you can see, my shot, it looks to be the core right here. This is just another prime example. You gotta zero your reflex in with the choke and the load you're hunting with because it will change and sometimes it's a big difference. Now, looking at this, it just, God, I wish we could shoot nines in New York because eights kind of hurts, especially in a 410. You can't get a lot of pellets in a 410 and eight shot. But guys, if this was centered, I mean, that, I got no complaints in the world. You got a good pattern right here. You do have a, a quite a bit of flyers. But looking at this, if that was right here, 
That's a smoked turkey. I mean, it's still dead. Also got a beard hit, so that's got to note that. But I'm interested to see how this runs out of all our 410s, all our chokes, and see what is the best result. Like I said, I haven't even shot the Pattern Master in that gun yet, so this is a first for both. But you can see, once we look at the 7.5 over 10s, you can see just how bad it is in New York that we cannot shoot the, the smaller shot size, especially in a 410. You don't see it as much in the 20 or the 12 because you can get a lot of pellets, but in a 410, you're, you're pressed. I can't really complain here because once I get this zeroed, you get this core right where it needs to be, that'll kill a turkey at 40 yards. I, I just don't think I'd be shooting that far with a 410. I like my birds close, but it is nice knowing you can kill them at 40 with it. Well, let's jump over. Let's look at the 7.5 over 10 and see how that did. All right, so here we go. Same gun setup, 40 yards. This is the 7.5 over 10s. This shot a little left, but guys, that is nice. This is what I like in a 410. Your core looks to be right here. You have a ton of hits. You can see a lot of 10s, a lot of 7.5s. And, and it almost seems like the 7.5s kept those 10s in tight. You got a really nice core. Then looking out, you have a really nice full pattern. You do have some flyers, which you got to expect in a 410. But guys, this pattern at 40, I, I like this. This is, this is a good pattern. I'd be curious to see this out of different 410s, different chokes, and see how it changes, but which we will be doing shortly. But I can't complain here. I mean, you got all these hits right here in a 410 at 40 yards. Can't complain at all with that. That I like this. Okay, so once again, both of these Mossberg SA410, 40 yards, Pattern Master Code Black Turkey 383. Now this will show you right here why it sucks to be in New York, and especially in a 410. This is the eight shot. This is the seven and a half over tens. As you can see, that shot really well. I mean, we're interested to see how this shoots going forward. It's not terrible, but you're losing out on a lot of shot in a 410 with eight shot. Now, mind you, if they, both these were centered, they'd be absolutely smoked birds, but I'm curious to see how this improves through different guns, different setups, etc. because it hurts to even say it. I was hoping this would shoot better out of that Mossberg SA410, but like I said, guys, we're going to see how it shoots out of the Stevens. We're going to see how it shoots out of the Rossi. I don't know if I'm going to take the 410 in New York. I know for a fact this is what I'm going to hunt with in Kentucky. I really like that. That's great at 40 yards. But shoot, that setup with the 8s, I, I've just, I was hoping for a little bit better here. But we'll see how it shoots out of that Stevens. That Stevens is lights out so we'll see there but you guys can see now the difference between new york legal loads and 410 and non-new york legal loads and 410 there's a huge difference in the amount of pellets the the patterns it just sucks being in new york that's all it comes down to all right so once again testing 410s testing that mossberg is the first time with the pattern master First time with the Apex small batch, both our New York legal loads, which we'll be hunting with here in our 410s, and the 7.5 over 10s, which I think that's what I'm taking to Kentucky. The Mossberg and that jived really well. I like that pattern. But we will be testing both of these through different 410s, different chokes, etc., and seeing how the performance varies over different setups. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Slap the notification bell, hit it to all, so you do not miss out on those tests coming. And if you haven't yet, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. We're out here grinding, putting out tons of patterns. We're trying to get to all of it, but guys, there's so many combinations and not enough time. That's just all it comes down to, so we're doing our best. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We got a ton of tests to film, so as always, we'll catch you on the next one.